Welcome back to another episode of Off Night Radio. I'm your host, Motto. Did not do an episode last week, so we got some making up to do. Let's get right into the show. Time to get into my hugehealthtips.com sports headlines. Be healthy, be informed. Ladies and gentlemen, speaking of health, DeAndre Hopkins of the Arizona Cardinals has been ruled out for the remainder of the season. That's a big blow because the Cardinals are definitely going to be in the playoffs, and you need a guy like DeAndre Hopkins uh, if you plan on winning some games in the playoffs. The Jaguars have decided to fire Urban head coach Urban Meyer after two and eleven start. He only coached for thirteen games, um, deservedly so. We won't get into that a little bit more because of the Urban Meyer. Um, more NFL news: Baker Mayfield and head coach Kevin Defensky and a host of other players have contracted the COVID nineteen virus, and they will not be playing in the team's next game. Um, there's an outbreak going on in the NFL. It's going to be interesting to see what the NFL does with this outbreak, so to speak. Um, Danny Ainge joins the U- Utah Jazz front office as an alternate governor. I'm not even sure what that means. It's a unique opportunity, but I'm glad to see Danny Ainge is in basketball. I didn't know he was out of basketball. Um, it just totally slipped my mind that he was just not in basketball. So glad to see him back in bas- basketball, del- deservingly so. The Toronto Maple Leafs, the Ottawa Senators, and the Toronto Raptors are going to cut capacity to have due to the COVID-19 surge. So capacity and uh, all, all those teams are in the uh, Ontario area in Canada. So um, they're, uh, they're, they're they're cracking down on their mandate. And so now they're going to go back to 50% capacity arenas to try to, to try to slow down the COVID-19 surge as we know it. Before I get to my main topics, I got to let you guys know about something. Look, I got to let you guys know about Namecheap. Look, I know you got a good idea for your website. So let me tell you about Namecheap. Namecheap is committed to offering the industry's best value for domains, SSL certifications, hosting, VPN, and more. Click on the link in the description and um, get your website. Buy that website domain today and do that with Namecheap. Congratulations to Steph Curry becoming the all-time three-point leader, three-pointers made leader. Which is which is crazy because he's about to put that record in the stratosphere. But it sparked an idea that I had. I wanted to bring up my top five uh, three point shooters that I seen with my eyeballs, right? Um, Steph Curry is definitely number one for me. Uh, Ray Allen was I thought I didn't for a while for many many years. It was the debate was I didn't know who was better out of Reggie or Ray. Uh, later on down the career, later on down the line, I ended up going with Ray Allen. And, of course, Reggie Miller will be my third. My next two is going to be a little bit interesting. My fourth is Kyle Korver. I think Kyle Korver is a top five three-point shooter in the history of the NBA. Um, I will debate with no one about that. I think he's a top five three-point shooter in the history of the NBA. But my fifth guy is interesting, and you had to be there to see him. He did not play very, very long, but uh, he was deadly from the three-point range. My guy, Peja Stoyakovic. Um, most of his best seasons, play, he play, I think he, had, he played in the All-Star game um, before, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he played with the Sacramento Kings when they were really, really good, when he had Chris Webber, Doug Christie, Mike Bibby, Jason Will, all you know, they had Bobby Jackson off the bench. He had a really, really good team. Petr Storjakovic is one of the best three-point shooters I've ever seen in my with my eyeballs. And I had an honorable mention of Dirk Nowinski, but I was I was big. I was a big Page guy. I was a big Page Storjakovic guy. Um... Let's get to uh, Urban Meyer. Um, Urban Meyer has been fired, deservingly so. I mean, I thought that the Jaguars were going to let him stay because you got to pay the man anyway. You got to pay him, even though he's not going to coach the last four games. You still got to pay him. So um, it was interesting. I thought you just let him finish out the season. At this point, I don't think it matters much. Um, they're two and eleven, right? They're, they're not winning. Uh, every time you turn around, Urban Meyer is in the headlines for the wrong reasons. He's arguing with players, uh, uh, coaches. Um, he hired the wrong coaches for cultural reasons. He's in the. He, it's, it's, it was. He was doing. Urban Meyer was making the headlines for all the wrong reasons, and on top of it all, they wasn't winning games. Losing games left and right, getting shut out, being embarrassed, not looking prepared. Number one overall pick, highly touted quarterback, and Trevor Lawrence looked like a look. Doesn't look like he's much of a uh, number one pick as of right now. And we we we're gonna we're gonna see with that. Let's, let's not put judgment on him. We're gonna see. Let's see if he gets another coach in there. He gets some um um some playmakers around him, and he might be able to be, you know, he might be able to be good. But um, 
just not a good situation. Um, I thought Urban Meyer was definitely going to get fired. I thought it was. I thought it was. For, I thought it was a foregone conclusion. Um, I just didn't think it was going to happen with thir- after thirteen games. I thought they were going to finish the season and then fire him on Black Monday. Um, but yeah, Urban Meyer deservedly so, man. I think the NFL, the college, the NFL thing doesn't work for everybody, and, and even and vice versa. Going from the NFL to to college, look at Charlie Weiss going to Notre Dame from offensive coordinator for the um for the Patriots. Look at Nick Saban going to the Miami Dolphins versus what he's doing in Alabama. You know what I mean? So. Urban Meyer, the coaching carousel is definitely going on right now, and 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 uh, you know Urban Meyer is he's a big he's still a big wig in college, and um I, they'll they'll throw they'll throw a, they'll back the Brinks truck right to Urban Meyer's front door, a college university will so, um so I I think he'll he'll be he'll be he'll be he'll be fine as far as coaching if he if he so wants to, but um yeah deservingly so the Jaguars did the right move and it's time to move on let's try to get somebody else in there and turn this um turn this football program around. Um, before I make my NFL picks, gotta get to another one of my sponsors. Listen, it is important to separate your business account from your personal account, and the best way to do that is with Bank Novo. Look, Bank Novo has no hidden fees, no monthly fees, easy to use mobile app, refund on all ATM fees, and did I mention it's a free business checking account? That's right, and much more. Apply for your free business check business checking account today in just under ten minutes. Click on the link in the description. That says Bank Novo, and start your free business checking account today. Time to get right into my NFL picks, man. I got the Thursday night football. I got the Chiefs over the Chargers to take a commanding lead in the um, in the AFC West. I got the Raiders over the COVID riddled Browns. I have the Colts with the upset over the uh, AFC leading Patriots. I got the Eagles beating up on Washington football team. I got the Cowboys over the Giants. I got my New York Jets over the Dolphins in the basement bowl. I got the Cardinals over the Lions. I got the Texans over the Jags in another basement bowl. I got the Bills over the Panthers after a heartbreaking loss against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I got the Titans over the Steelers. I got the 49ers over the Falcons. I got the Bengals over the Broncos. I got the Packers over the Ravens over the Ravens with or without Lamar Jackson. It looks like they're gonna be without. I got the Rams over the Seahawks. I got the Bucks over the Saints. And I got the Vikings over the Bears. No premium bet this week. Um we're gonna take a little break and I'll give you a few more uh premium bets for next week's episode. Thank you guys for listening to the show. Um make sure you rate, subscribe, review on whatever platform you listen to this podcast on. It will be greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. I'm over there, man. See you guys next time.